Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be sharing with you my current favorites. So some of them are new, some of them are actually quite old, but just because the weather is starting to change, I am just using them a lot more and I'm just loving them. And I think they're products that you would enjoy as well. So I'm gonna start off with two kind of like body care products. My first one I'm gonna start with is this foot file. I, a couple of years ago, did a little review video about this, showing you how I had like a dramatic heel transformation. I suffer with quite dry, cracked heels, and when it gets into kind of spring and summer, they just get more and more cracked, and then obviously I wear like open back shoes or flip flops, and then you can really see my cracked heels, which is always just quite ugly. So a couple of years ago, I did a review video on this product, showing you how it transformed my heels and you guys absolutely love this video so i wanted to share this product with you again this is by i don't even know i actually don't know but i think it was about 18.99 from amazon i'll link this down below i'll link everything i mentioned down below in my description box to make it easy for you guys to find it comes with two different heads so you get like a coarser almost sandpaper and then you get a more finer sandpaper so you obviously would use the coarser one first to get rid of like the stubborn cracked heels and then as your heels start to improve you will then start using the finer sandpaper it's literally sandpaper um this is amazing the heads really easily just like pop on and off like that so you can change them over depending on what kind of um roughness you need and then you can on it's got two speeds this one and that one I simply just use the first speed to be honest with you, but it's great. You just sort of glide it over your heels and then it just takes off all of the excess dead skin. And that's when you can then go in with a foot moisturizer to make your heels like deliciously soft. I'm gonna put a before and after here of how my heels looked before I started using this. And then you guys will see what a transformation it was. And I promise you it's all down to this and some foot cream. So I'm gonna link the foot cream that I use down below in my description box as well. Next up, another little beauty one for you. And as it's coming into summer again here in the UK, my legs are out. <laughs> and you know what that means? It's been winter. They've kind of been like another little layer of my hair. So I was in desperate need to tackle them. And what I love to tackle them with is my epilator. I was always someone who waxed as a child. My mom was a beauty therapist and she, just from a young age, I never actually shaved my legs at all. She just got me into waxing straight away. But I did find waxing almost a little bit inconvenient as I started to grow up. If I went out on a night out, I needed my legs kind of hair removed straight away. And I sometimes had to then wait for them to grow out enough to get them waxed and then eventually I kind of just turned to shaving because it was more convenient but a little while ago I again did a little review on this product this is the Silk Epil 9 Flex from Braun and it's amazing it has such like a good head on it so it can kind of move with your leg shape and um, it does literally get every single hair out of your leg so an epilator is basically like tweezers but it's quick tweezers so you run this up your leg and it just removes like it plucks out all of the hairs that it comes across i can actually see quite a few of my hairs stuck in here i probably need to clean that <laughs> but this product is really really good if you're someone like me who loves to have the after effects of waxing which is obviously to have smoother legs for longer then this like i said is a great product for you also it can get really sort of short stubborn hairs as well so if you are thinking oh no they're not long enough to epilate they are always long enough to epilate now that my leg hairs have got used to being epilated and they're kind of all growing through at a similar speed this only gets used once every kind of three to six weeks I would say. My next favorite is a product that I bought recently for our home. I bought one of them and then I loved it so much that I actually bought another product from this company but it was different product. So what I have got around my house is some fake flowers. If you know me, you will know I'm not very good at gardening or keeping plants alive, especially indoor plants. They seem to just not like how I care for them and they die quite easily. So when I found We Are Little Buds, I was a bit cautious of spending so much money on fake plants as I know sometimes fake plants can look quite fake and over at We Are Little Buds their faux plants aren't the cheapest 
but they are absolutely amazing. So as you can see here, I have got this really lovely blue agapanther. I love this plant. This was my first purchase from We Are Little Buds and I get so many comments on it all the time. This, like I said, wasn't cheap. It was 134 pounds and it doesn't come with this pot plant. This is one I already had at home. It comes in the soil base that you can see here. But like I said, I feel like this is so worth it because I've now had this plant for coming up to six months and it looks exactly like it did on day one. This is the bouquet that I got from We Are Little Buds and again, I absolutely love it. This bouquet was £60, so a little pricey, but again, like with the Agapantha, this is just going to last forever. My third purchase from We Are Little Buds was this olive tree. This olive tree is for mine in Chris's bedroom and I just love it. It's sitting here in the window and as you can see, it has little black olives on it which gives it like an extra realistic feature this I got in the sale so it should have been 120 pounds but I got it for 102 pounds and I feel like it's really good value for money Chris has just come in this room as I'm filming and he's just interrupted my flow <laughs> for sake. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you actually downstairs because there's three more things that I want to show you, but they are all downstairs. I've written a little note for myself what I wanted to share with you today. So they're all downstairs. So I'm going to just take the camera down there with me and then I'm going to show you the products as I'm there and um, talk you through what I love about them and why they are in this favourites video. So let's go down. Right, so my next favourite is this little bamboo ladder shelf i love this this is from next it was like 30 pounds i think so it wasn't too expensive and what i've done with it is i've <laughs> these are actually um throws they're like do not use throws you know the other day i said to chris oh i'm a bit chilly and he was like what about one of those throws i was like uh no they're the do not use throws um these again are from next and i really love them i think they're such nice colors to be fair they're not really do not use ones they're just ones that i forget that are there but i've got a burnt kind of brownie orange one down here and then i've got a more of a neutral one here and they are just so nice and soft but like i said this is one of my favorites it just comes in um sections that you put together really easily with a little kind of bit of instructions um this is a meter and a half tall and yeah just think it looks really really nice and effective this would be great in a bathroom to have towels over it or like i've done to have throws over it or blankets or just leaned up by itself on a, on a wall would be nice too right next up i wanted to show you this sheepskin rug so this is a double sheepskin rug and it's from Danelle mill this was 60 pounds and it's the mink color that they sell they do lots of different colors um we were maybe thinking of getting the natural, but we actually went for the mink color. I think it was a bit more of a like forgiving kind of color. So this what we have done with it is put it on our bench for our kitchen dining table. And it just adds like a real nice bit of warmth to the area. I feel like because we've got the bench there, this kind of just breaks up the wood a little bit more. And also when you're sitting on it, we all fight over sitting on this side of the table because it's so much cozier than sitting on the chairs as well. Apart from not having a back, um, the base of your bum is just really nice and kind of soft when sitting on it. But yeah, this was 60 pounds, like I said. This you can just lay on the floor if you would like, but I just think it's a really, really good size to go on a bench to create a little bit of um, depth in your home. My last favorite I wanted to share with you was my KitchenAid. I absolutely love this and just look at the color. I mean, KitchenAids are so cool anyway, but I love the fact they do so many different colors so they can kind of cater for everyone's choice of color in their kitchen to give their kitchen a little pop of color. So as you can see, our kitchen's kind of like a dark off black with white walls and a light worktop. So we decided to go for this color because like I said, I thought it would give a nice little pop of color in our home. We all really like cooking and baking in our home. The kids love making their own cupcakes so they can just come over and use this whenever they want it's so easy to use this lever you pull back and it just brings the whole head up and down and this lever on the side is what controls the speed 
When you get your KitchenAid, it also comes with this, which is like a little shield. So you just pop that over the top here and you can pull your ingredients into your KitchenAid from here. And it just stops any kind of like flour or anything like that kicking up when you first start to mix it. And it also comes with a couple of different heads too. The mixing bowl is a really good size so you can make a big cake with this or loads of cupcakes all in one batch. It is a little bit pricey, I won't lie, but I do feel like it is a good Good investment to make in your home if you are someone like me who loves to bake and cook a lot. So that's it. Those were the six favorites that I am currently loving at the moment. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to link everything that I've mentioned down below in my description box. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!